Today, we delve into the world of breast cancer, unmasking the etiology, identifying the signs and symptoms, and understanding the diagnosis, treatment, and prognosis. Breast cancer happens when some breast cells begin to grow abnormally, dividing more rapid than healthy cells, continuing to accumulate, forming a lump or mass. In most cases, it begins in the milk-producing ducts, thus named invasive ductal carcinoma. But it can also originate in the glandular tissue called lobules, subsequently named invasive lobular carcinoma, or originate in other cells within the breast. There are several risk factors, exposure to ionizing radiation, carcinogenic chemicals, excessive alcohol and fat intake, and smoking. The exact etiology is mostly unknown, with over 70% of cases lacking an identifiable cause. Now, on to the signs. They can vary in each individual, but common signs include a breast lump or thickening that feels different from the surrounding tissue, changes to the skin over the breast, such as dimpling, and changes in the appearance of one or both nipples, including drainage. Symptoms, on the other hand, may include newly inverted nipples, peeling, scaling, or flaking of the nipple or breast skin, redness or pitting of the skin over your breast, similar to the surface of an orange, and sometimes a pain in the breast or armpit that doesn't go away. If you notice any of these signs or symptoms, recommended tests to diagnose breast cancer include a mammogram, the most common screening test, an ultrasound, or a biopsy, where a sample of breast cells is removed and tested. Once a diagnosis is confirmed, treatment options are explored. These can range from surgery, such as a lumpectomy, removal of only the tumor, or simple mastectomy, removal of only breast tissue or breast tissue and some axillary lymph nodes. A radical mastectomy, removal of the entire breast, is rarely performed. Radiation therapy, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, targeted therapy drugs, and immunotherapy are additional protocols. The type and combination of treatments depend on the stage of the cancer, the patient's overall health, and personal preference. Prognosis refers to the likely outcome of a disease. In the United States, the non-metastatic invasive breast cancer five-year survival rate is 91%, and the 10-year survival rate is 85%. A disturbing outcome is if the cancer has spread to a distant part of the body. The five-year relative survival rate drops to 30%. The stage of the cancer, numbered relative to spread in the body, at diagnosis plays a key role. Early detection significantly improves the prognosis. Stage 1 is very contained, whereas stage 4 has metastasized, possibly to the bones, brain, liver, and or lungs. In summary, breast cancer originates from the cells of the breast, with signs varying from lumps to changes in the appearance of the nipples. Symptoms can include newly inverted nipples or a persistent pain in the breast. Diagnosis usually involves mammograms, ultrasound, and or biopsies. Treatment options range from surgery to targeted therapy drugs, and the prognosis largely depends on the stage of the cancer at diagnosis. Even though alcohol, diet, and smoking are identifiable causes, stay informed, as additional risk factors may be revealed with advancements in healthcare technologies.